Now, let's try to understand the business process first. I want to do the production, right? From where the business process will start. Order say, order from order, from demand, from forecast, from PIR. It is not mandatory that the process need to be started from there. Okay, the business process can start from anywhere. We'll try to, I cannot do the very long business process. I will try to sh uh, showcase a business process which is followed into 70 to 80% of the cases in different industry. These steps would be there, 70 to 80% of the cases, but the process can be longer or the process can be short. So generally, the process start from the demand. That we have a demand to produce something. And that demand we upload in the system, in SAP system, in form of planned independent requirement. Now we are going ahead and we are understanding the SAP specific terminology, planned independent requirement, with transaction code MD61 will be uploading planned independent requirements. What is this planned independent requirements? Basically, it's demand forecast. We are forecasting that in the month of January, February, March, a particular product A, I would be producing 100, 500, 700. That is the thing we are trying to predict it. And the scenario which we are trying to do is kind of a MTS, make to stock. A make to stock scenario, right? That we want to produce to stock and from there we want to sell it. So that's what we are doing. We are trying to do it, make to stock. We'll try to produce it and we'll be starting from the demand. We'll upload the demand. And with the upload of the demand, we would be, we would be getting our PIRs created. So once these PIRs are getting created, I would be having my demand in my system. The demand will flow in the system. And the next thing I would be doing is a MRP run. What MRP run would be doing? MRP run would be checking that what it would be comparing what is demand versus supply is equal to shortage. In supply existing production orders, existing planned orders, stock system will consider. So you have a requirement of 500, but maybe out of 500, 200 stock is already available. 200 production orders are already available. 50 planned orders are already available. So MRP will find the shortage is only of 50. So MRP will find that shortage is only of 50. So as a next step, the planned order which is need to be created from the MRP run is of the 50 quantity. So that MRP run would be checking, comparing it demand versus supply and stock and would be telling the shortage. Now, because it's an in-house pro manufacturer product, MRP run would be creating a planned order. If, if it is same product which we need to procure it, like a raw material, MRP would be creating a purchase requisition for them. What is the transaction code which we will be using to run MRP? In our system, we will be using a transaction code MD01N. Although MD01 we can use, MD02 we can use, but we are in S4 HANA, we prefer to use MD01N, which is called MRP Live Transaction. The more detail of the MRP Live, the basics will be knowing it in the, this one, but more details of what is the technical architecture of MRP Live is covered in the excellence session. Okay. So once the planned order is created, what would be the next step? After the planned order creation, what would be the next step? Background job for MD01 is very much possible. We can do the background job for MD01 and MD01 and MD02. All of them we can run in the background. In actual projects, every day at night, the background job will happen. 
convert plant orders into the production orders. That would be the next step, right? Convert plant orders into the production orders. You can display the plant orders if required what has been created. And then you would be converting into the production orders. So display of the plant orders, multiple transactions are there. For the first time when we'll be using, we'll be doing the transaction, like we'll be doing the steps like MD04, that we'll be doing it for the production orders. Creating a plant order and converting into the production orders. Now production order is created. In this production order, we would be checking it. There would be a scheduling happening. A lot of things will happen to the production order. There would be a costing would be happening and availability check will happen. What availability check will happen? What kind of availability will be checking it in the production order? Material, which material? Stock, which stock? Which stock? Components, components which we need to use to produce this particular material, that availability check will happen, scheduling will happen, costing will happen, capacity check will happen. All these things would be happening at production order level. Once we have satisfied this with this production order, we would be doing a release of production order. Okay. Once the release of production order has been done, so release of production order, we would be doing it with the transaction code CO02. Okay, with CO02, we'll be doing a release of production order. In between, if the material shortage is there, reservations need to be created. And against the reservation, we need to bring the stock from the store, from the store storage location, uh, uh, from the store storage location to the um, production story location with the reservation, the stock would be com coming it up. Okay, that would be happening. With the release of production order, once the production order is released, then we'll do the actual execution. Actual execution means actual manufacturing will be doing. And we will be consuming the material will consume raw material. We'll consume the raw material. We'll be doing with transaction MIGO. Then we will generate our finished goods, which we want to produce. We can do with the transaction MIGO. And then we would be confirming production order. There are the multiple transactions for this. We can do with CO15, the header level confirmation. Okay, that will be doing with CO15. And then we can tackle the production order with transaction code CO02. After the technical completion, at the month end, before the month end execution or with the month end execution, finance team will be doing a settlement of the order and then final closer of the order would be coming. Settlement and the final closer would be done by the controlling team. Here is also your integration point coming here with the finance. Integration point will come here with the finance or with the controlling that the final steps of settlement and the closer would be done by the controlling team. In between, Zaidi has a question. Before release, all components should available in hand or reservation is enough for release. Depends on the configuration. You can do the configuration that all components should be available on hand. Then only the release would be possible. Or you can do the con uh, configuration that the warning message will come that the components are not available. You can release the production order and in parallel, you can have a reservation and uh, parallel, you can receive the stock. Okay. 
depends on the configuration you have done, the both way it is possible. Generally, we prefer that before we release the production order, before releasing of the production order, the component should be available. But there can be some business processes who release the production order in advance. They are releasing the production order two to three days in advance. So they that, say that I have a next two to three days, my people would be working to check the stocks and make sure the stock comes from the store. So when we release the production order, even we don't have a stock on hand, even we don't have a reservation created, still the release can be done. Okay. So these are the points you need to note it down. And then you need to figure it out that how the, what configuration we need to do it to get them fulfilled, to get them fulfilled. So I would be giving you assignment today, okay, which we would be adding it up. And then you need to complete this assignment that during the training, when we are doing, you need to find it out. What are the master data settings or what are the configuration settings you need to do to achieve specific business scenarios? Okay. Let me try to put those scenarios also here. But this is an end-to-end -end process. This is an end-to-end -end process for PP. Okay. End-to-end -end PP business process. Mm -hmm.